Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as many of you know, Microsoft has warned users against installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, which doesn't meet the minimum system requirements to be upgraded to Windows 11. Now, as mentioned in previous videos, although they have warned users against this, they have still made it possible to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware using one or two options, which are mainly the media creation tool and the Windows 11 uh, ISO disk image. And when you are installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware in that installation process, you will see a warning message pop up, which is similar to what is found in the media creation tool and the ISO image file here on this page, saying that this could result in compatibility issues. Uh, you will no longer be supported and won't be entitled to receive updates and they take no responsibility for any damages to your PC. So basically this means if you install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, you won't get any updates. You do it at your own risk and basically um, you're on your own. So recently now Microsoft has rolled out a hack, uh, a basically a registry tweak and hack that um, needs to, uh, a key needs to be changed and applied. And basically what this hack will do is they say it will bypass the check for the TPM version 2 and the generation uh, check on your processor, your CPU. But you will still need to be uh, running TPM version 1.2 and a dual core CPU. Now, uh, what this hack will do is it will allow, allow you to... Um, upgrade Windows, your current machine upgraded to Windows 11 using the Windows 11 installation assistant, which out of the three options on this page, Microsoft says is the best option. Now, this doesn't mean once you've applied this registry hack that you will see Windows 11 appear in Windows Update on your device. It doesn't mean you're going to be supported. It just means you will be able to use the Windows 11 installation assistant which is the preferred option to be able to um, install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So to uh, apply the registry hack, we head over to our search and we just enter registry in the search field. This will open the registry editor. And I must just say uh, at the outset though, is that um, this is done at your own risk. And if you don't really, or, you know, if, if you are not comfortable uh, fiddling in the registry, rather just leave this alone. And also, um, uh, what I suggest is before you apply this, you go and export your registry. So if you, um, you know, mess up anything during this process, um, you can come and re-import your registry. You can restore it to its previous state because if you, you know, if something goes wrong in your registry, it could cause serious problems to your operating system. And what we do in the registry is we need to find HKey local machine. And on that HKey local machine, we click that. Then we click on system and then we go down and we find setup we click on that and in setup we find the key called mo setup and we click on that now on the right hand side here in the uh, in the open uh, uh, field here the white pane you just right click you go new and you create a new d word value you click on that and then what we do is we have to enter this key i've copied and pasted it called allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU and I will leave this key down below for you to copy and paste so you make sure that you enter the right values as you don't want to get this wrong. So that's allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. Then you right click on then you just click on the space again to apply that and now we have to change its value so we go back to the key and we right click on it and we go modify and then the value data needs to be changed from 0 to 1 and you just enter OK and that registry key now has been changed and also the value. And then what you need to do after that is you need to restart your device and then this will allow you to be able to use the Windows 11 installation assistant to be able to upgrade your unsupported device uh, to Windows 11. But just bear in mind again that this doesn't mean you are now going to receive updates and also it doesn't mean you are going to be supported. It's just another option available to install Windows 11 on an unsupported device. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.